creates the gap along the top edge of this skirting board. On one half, I'm going to use cork, and then the other half, I'm going to use an expandable gap filling foam with powder filler on top. So, first in with the cork. Blob there. Now with this, it's better to use a spatula than your finger. You can use your finger, but what it can do, if there's a large gap, it can create a slight concave, which will gather dust. So, smooth over with your spatula. Just remove any excess. If you are doing this on existing painting painted wood, then you would key it first because you can't sand that. Now, this side, just a little bit of water. Then, shook up in the foam. Again, we'll put this there. Leave that. We'll come back to this in a minute. Well, let's see how dry this is now. That's dry now. So, because I've filled down that way, I'm going to trim that way. So, just sitting your blade in, run it along. Free it from the wall. Okay. So then a light rub. filler mixed up so we'll just apply this filler Okay, so we'll take a look at these fillers here now. You can see this is the cork, which is still very soft. Obviously the foam has gone off because we trimmed that before. And the, this filler has gone off. Not completely solid, but that's a big lump. Whereas this in here, I've only filled over the core of the foam 
there's only going to be a few mil of filler here which will dry pretty quick whereas this cork is still wet it's still soft so you wouldn't be able to paper onto that really especially if you're putting a nice pattern paper on because you have a risk of getting this onto your paper and painting you wouldn't be able to paint this on the same day you'd have to come back the second day at least depending on the depth and temperature humidity this could take up to a week to fully cure so then when we read some of the information on this cork tube sealing gaps around internal window and door frames so on plastered walls and ceilings filling cracks in plaster and wood well for a start this isn't sandable so filling wood cracks in wood on the surface no never use this and as for filling plasterboard and plaster then you can't sand this and then if you do overpaint with it then you have to be careful what paint you use because it will crack so if I go further down to limitations so painting over with highly filled emulsion paints causing cracks the highly filled emulsion paints basically are going to be your quality paints with plenty of pigment so you may not be able to use with this and then internal use right so then we move on and we'll have a look here and then it does say use only outdoors or, of, or in a well ventilated area so too much conflicting information there I just wouldn't use it myself personally because it just slows down my work